Hello and welcome to my channel about Unity development. Today I'm going to talk about the new Unity Adjustable System. I'll go through on how to instantiate the game object and look into the event viewer on managing the memory. Let's do this. Here I have a brand new Unity project. Let's install the Adjustable Package by going to Window, Package Manager. Look for the Adjustable Package and install it. This will take some time to install. And after the installation, you go to Window, Adjust Management, Adjustable, Groups. When you first open this window, it will ask you to create the settings. Now click Create. Unity will create setting file for the system. After this, I'm going to dock the group window at the bottom of the screen because almost 90% of the time when dealing with addressable system, I need to go back to this tab. Now I'm going to download the assets that I need for the project. Go to Windows, Asset Store. I'm going to download this Unity 2D Pack asset and import it. I'm going to quickly set up the scene. I will put the 4 and add box collider in it. Then I'm going to use the burst character, add a collider and rich body on it. Next, I'm going to make the character in the PFAB, drag it to our PFAB folder. Then I'm going to drag the PFAB onto our default group under addressable groups. Now we have everything ready. Let's create a game manager script and let it compile. What I'm going to do is kind of get rid of the script that we don't want. So get rid of the functions and get rid of the main space on top. Let's start with a clean script. Then I will add the addressable name state using unity engine dot adjustable asset. And inside the game manager cast, I will create a serialized view. Then I will put asset reference game object as I am referring to game object type of asset and name it as character. Next, in the start function, I will create my game object here. I'm going to type in adjustable dot instantiate async bracket and inside the bracket, I will put the one that I just create character. After you finish loading, I will press play on editor and this will give me an error because I forgot to assign the character field on the script. Let's go to the field and hit the bubble next to it. It will give me all the game object reference as I'm only referring the type game object on the script. Now press play again. Then the game character should appear at the center of the screen. I'm going to expand a bit more on the script. Going back into the script, I'm going to create a new game object variable called character object. And inside our start function, at the end of the instantiation, I will put dot complete and pass tab on that Visual Studio to create the function for me. And I'm going to move that to the top. I will then remove this line and put character object equal object, which is the parameter dot result. Assign the game object to character object. Let's just hit play again to make sure everything works. And there we go. Everything works fine. Then I'm going to look at the event viewer. Event viewer is a debug tool for monitoring memory usage on the addressable system. As you can see there, I have the game character logged on the screen. To enable addressable system to send event to the event viewer, I need to go to the addressable windows, tools, inspect system settings, and on inspector, I have to make sure send profile event is on. So going back to the event viewer, I'm going to clean everything to show you how it works. I will press play and then let it run. As you can see, there are several things happening in the beginning, but what I'm interested to see is the game object that we have in here, which is the game character. Let's go back to the script. I'm going to show you what you need to look after when using the addressable system. I will create an update function and inside I'm going to destroy the game character when pressing the return key. I'm going to press play and then my game character appear on the screen first and then I will hit enter to destroy the character. 
after it get removed from the scene, you can see still we are still allocating memory. Therefore, we need to do something when we destroy the game object. We have to release the memory too. So after we destroy the game object, we need to add addressable dot release instance and inside put in character object. This will release the memory. So this you know the memory we have on the event viewer. Now let's play again. We have a character, memory allocated. I'm gonna hit delete and it's gone. Excellent. So now we have the simplest way to instantiate game object using the new addressable system. In the next video, I'm gonna talk about how we use different groups, profile, etc. on the Unity addressable system. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. I hope I can see you soon. Goodbye.